Welcome everyone, this is uh, yet another week passed by with uh, Martijn Aretz during his crowd expedition. Last week we talked about a lot of things, you can still check that because the video is online on the website. Yep, what website? Uh, crowdexpedition.com I, I, I think Kelly will put this, uh, I always wanted to do that, just like underneath the screen. Um, any news? Yeah, enough news. Enough news, okay. <laughs> because you went to Green Wheels? Yes. Okay. Green, what is Green Wheels? We talked about it very shortly. Yeah, it's it's a car, uh, another car sharing platform? Or? Yes, uh, it's car sharing, but not peer-to-peer uh, -peer car sharing, but they get their own fleet. And yeah. they're, I think, one of the first uh, uh, still existing car sharing companies in the Netherlands, because they were founded in 1995. Okay. Uh, in the time before internet, they yeah. were one of the first companies uh, in, in, in the Netherlands w with a web page, which was by then a PDF <laughs> okay. uh, brochure uh, idea. Um, and they got, they, they're not uh, sharing the numbers, but they are uh, in two countries, the Netherlands and Germany, in total in 100 cities. So I guess they got about between the two and a half and five thousand cars, uh, which you can use uh, by an app and even also open the car with a card. So they're really into the technique. Yeah, and it's really like they have a subscription model, right? You pay a monthly fee just to, to have the possibility to take a car whenever you need one. Yeah. And they need to reserve one or just book one. Yes, and then uh, you pay per kilometer and per day or both, uh, both? Uh, okay. per, per hour and per kilometer and 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 how more expensive your subscription is mm -hmm. how cheaper the hour rate and okay. the rate for the kilometers. clever so if you need a lot of if you if you need a car a lot then mm -hmm. you take a more expensive subscription but then you have less hourly fee and kilometer yes fee. and these kind of system they're they're affordable till let's say eight to ten thousand kilometers a year Okay. Because after that, it's cheaper to have your own car. Okay. Have you ever used Green Wheels? Not yet, not yet. But I will uh, use it uh, because I've got my own car. Yeah. And uh, but I, I I want to use it for a couple of times just to have the experience uh, yeah. from the customer inside. Yeah. Uh, when I was working at Eens.nl, this is this Dutch restaurant index uh, online, a fantastic website. But uh, just to mention that uh, we were using one of the competitors, uh, and I just. I, I don't remember the name of that company, but my wheels maybe. No, it's another one. There's this. Well, that doesn't matter. But we ha and we had the same system. We had a uh, just a, a car and a, with this card, and we c and it was quite quite easy. You just reserve one. You can see where's the car that is available and which one is the most nearby, uh, and then you just walk to the car, uh, hit the 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 windshield, mm -hmm. or what is the the, the yeah. The window um, with the, with the pass and it unlocks yeah. and then you start driving and you just get an invoice at the end of the week. Yeah, and one thing is really cool about this company nice. because they started in 1995. They had an idea. They started with three cars uh, because they, they they had to pay everything for, uh, by using their own money. And then the the NS, the the, the railway uh, service in the Netherlands, they are looking for a solution for a shared car uh, car service in the Netherlands. And then they had two options. They got Bovag and the AMB, mm -hmm. two really big corporations, they had a system about car sharing. Yeah. And they had the option of two young guys, they were just gra graduated. And in the end, uh, they, they, they didn't have an investor yet, at the yeah. end, later they, they did have one investor. But in the end, the, the NS, they uh, chose for Green Wheels and not for the Bovag and the AMB. Nice. Because the system of the Bovag and AMB, it sucked. It was really... And what a, sucked? What was... What was the difference? Their idea was, okay, you can uh, uh, wheel park the cars at existing garages, and then you go to the garage, to the reception, and uh, there you can rent the car for at least three hours. Okay. And in office time, you come back and, and give the car back. But at the end, where are all the garages? Not in the city, they're yeah. all at the industry uh, areas uh, around the cities. Yeah. Uh, and you also want to have the freedom of having a car whenever you want, and yeah. also with a minimum of one hour. Yeah. So they won. Yeah. So what if I take the car now and I drive to, say, Amsterdam, an hour, and I park the car over there? Do I still need to pay for the car, um, or can I park it on another Green Wheels parking place in Amsterdam? And is it for someone else in Amsterdam to to use, like the, the bicycle uh, principle in Paris? I think you have to 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 bring it back at the place where you uh, bought because else there will be busy all day with okay. uh, and uh, because it's it's really 
a uh, low uh, margin product. Uh, so they really have to uh, be really efficient. And it's also okay. with the office, uh, it, when I was walking to the office, it was quite a dull and boring office. But so in the end, because we're now used to all these fancy startups. Yep. And so I thought, oh, what's happening over here? But when I walked away, I was thinking, oh, these guys are just working their ass off. Okay. And they got a really small margin. So they yeah. have to be so There's really no essence. time and money to, to, to be fancy. <laughs> to no. get a fancy no. office. No. Okay, but the essence of the product is well, you think? Yes, definitely. Sustainable? There. Yeah. They're already there since 1995? Mm. Yes, yeah. yes they're sustainable. Time. And also in 2012, uh, PON, the, the, the yeah. Volkswagen uh, uh, company in the Netherlands, yeah. yeah. they, 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 they bought shares. And last mm. year, uh, Volkswagen bought shares. So they're not sharing what their mm. future plans are. They're, they're really keen on what they're saying. It's really, I think, that, uh, looking back to all the interviews, the the, the 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 persons who are really careful w with their words yeah uh, but there's going to happen something of course because uh, Volkswagen isn't joining a company for nothing for nothing no of course yeah. okay be honest yeah okay hmm when are you going to rent a car or yes yeah, it renting using a car by green wheels I have no idea and can you use uh, it one time or do you really need to subscribe for a year or for a you have to subscribe but I think I saw that there's now a campaign where you don't have to pay any subscription fee or, or, or something like that okay. so and, f and for uh, what what's the period is it 12 months the, the minimum or I think it's the minimum 12 months and after that uh, you can uh, stop every month okay well. so it's, okay. it's fair well uh, that's fine and it's only five it's only between five and 15 euro uh, a month okay so it's not this much money you also went to, yeah, in, in Holland we say Rijkswaterstaat. I yeah. have no idea uh, what it is in English. I, I Just should have Google it. it up. Uh, yeah, Google <laughs> No, I have no idea. But, but it's, the, uh, it's from the government and yeah. it's the department that, uh, that uh, has the responsibility for all the roads in the Netherlands and, of course, the waterways in the Netherlands, right? Yeah, yeah okay. uh, all, the Why? all the infrastructure. Okay, the infrastructure. Why did you go there? Uh, somebody of Rijkswaterstaat, she followed me on Twitter, so I was looking, who are you? So, so yeah. she was also busy with mobility and also shared mobility. So I sent her a tweet back, okay, uh, nice, thanks for following. She'll have coffee, and the next day uh, we had coffee. Fantastic. Yeah. That's, that's how Twitter can work. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So and really what did you, just coffee and said thanks for the coffee, goodbye? Yeah, or good, good, good coffee. Yeah, <laughs> okay. And did you discuss anything? Yes, uh, oh. lots of things. Yeah, okay. we did, yes, about <laughs> one half or two hours. Okay. Yes, yes, so really nice. It's. Uh, Summary. <laughs> Summary. Oh, okay. How much time do we got? Oh, oh, there's no Kelly today. There's no Kelly there's today. Nobody so today. Which can be on. a very long interview today. No, no, no. Because no. no, no. normally Kelly, you can see with Kelly's a good. Yeah, with a knife and yeah. a gun, but not today. <laughs> now I think uh, we talked about lots of things, of course, but also about uh, the role of the government uh, in a uh, shared economy and shared mobility. And what is the role of the government in the shared economy? Uh, that's also a really good discussion because uh, the problem is. Um, uh, to make uh, the, the shared mobility a, a long-term success, uh, mm -hmm. we need some things change, uh, and also some researches. But the problem is all these sharing uh, mobility platforms in the Netherlands, they're not working together. So they're not uh, f joining forces to say, okay, we, are, uh, we want a, a research about this or that. And, uh, that. That's also really different like in Belgium. Uh, it's the other interview we had uh, yesterday uh, evening uh, with Autopia. Mm -hmm. um, it's an organization in Belgium and they're uh, facilitating people to share their cars and they are m for 95 percent funded by their go government and yeah we discussed it last week the, the, yeah. the, they, they sit together in a uh, tupperware party setting yeah yeah okay just to discuss about sharing not only discuss but they are bringing groups of people together uh, of maximum of seven people i mm -hmm. guess uh, and then they can sh uh, start their own sharing club so mm -hmm. when also like over here in the office yeah uh, we share the coffee machine yes yeah. And also the, the picnic refrigerator, <laughs> the picnic table. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and um, uh, then we can sit together and like one person has a car and then they can s watch, okay, how can we share this car with other people? Okay. And um, um, so uh, what's the difference between Utopia and the way it goes in the Netherlands? Because you say uh, they are not cooperating, but five minutes before you mentioned that Green Wheels has an agreement with NS. Yes, but not with the government and, and, and NS is just a, okay. a company. No, I think uh, the, 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 the difference is that they, uh, they are not searching for profits. They really, uh, uh, they really want to uh, make shared mobility possible for everybody in uh, the country. 
Uh, so, uh, like when you're uh, renting out your car by Snapcar or, mm -hmm. or, or when you're renting a car by Green Wheels, it's all about making some profit uh, 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 and also to, to get back some of, of your fixed costs. Uh, with them, it's more about um, covering the, the uh, uh, about only covering the fixed cost of the car. So it's really cheap to use the car. And they have two concepts. One, like with a group of seven, that one of them owns a car mm -hmm. and the other six are going to use the car. Yeah. And the other one is that they, with seven, they buy together a car and then they share it. And they are facilitating just people with standard contracts with an insurance. So they're really em empowering those people to organize themselves. And that's also a nice discussion we, uh, I had with, with Rijk Waterstaat about yeah. what the role of the government has to be. And I think we are going to have more discussions about that uh, later on. Yeah, but discussions don't make money directly. No. Uh, so what's, what's the business model of Utopia? They get funded by the government, but w uh, to do what? What's the, is it just searching for new insights and just, just keep the discussion going or? No, they get a ma uh, they're getting money to, 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 to help people uh, start sharing their car uh, yeah. in a way that it's affordable for everybody to uh, have access to a car. So it's, re it's really a social uh, project. Um, and they're also busy with <coughs> the uh, uh, sh shared mobility platforms in, in Belgium to, to help them to, 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 for, uh, to, to join forces uh, by changing the regulation. But they also, they're, so they really got a more a, a, uh, 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 also a information uh, function uh, like the, 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 the uh, yes, uh, they are really are looking about, and that's also like in the Netherlands, it's all the platforms are really busy with their business, mm -hmm. but like when Green Wheels uh, opens a new spot, uh, they don't have really much money for marketing in the neighborhoods. And what Utopia is doing, they're really into the uh, buzzwording. Uh, mm -hmm. Consciousness. Uh, yes, uh, uh, of the people, but also uh, to get people with lower income access to a car. So it's, it's really more from a social perspective, and yeah. they also don't have the ambition to uh, make money. But do they have the ambition to... to have less cars, yeah. But less cars means less road tax. Yes. So, I I can imagine that if everybody starts sharing, that for the income of the government, that also could have some consequences. Yes, have but you, is there? Yeah, but also uh, uh, from the cost per per uh, per uh, perspective, like when everybody's going to share a car, we we only need one tenth of the amount of cars we have now. And like in Belgium, there uh, there are eighty eight cars on every 100 people, mm -hmm. that's a lot. So when you reduce that to like 20 or 10, then you need less parking places, less roads. Uh, it's, 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 it's a huge yeah. impact yeah. on, on I now on everything. understand why the name of the project is Utopia. <laughs> but well, you never know, uh, maybe in, in yeah, five think, or 10 years yeah. or 20 years we're thinking uh, yeah, definitely. I, I think everybody got his own goal, like with Snapcar, they say, okay, our goal is to reduce the amount of cars in Europe with 1%. Yeah. And, and if you have 1%, what the hell was that? Yeah, but it's a in lot Europe, of cars. It's a lot of cars. Yeah. Okay. So Rijkswaterstaat, you went to um, Utopia, you went to Green Wheels. Uh, any other insights from Rijkswaterstaat? Is there another interview coming or is there a next step or are they going to participate in... Uh, in 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 uh, in the whole expedition or I hope so. So they're welcome. But uh, but uh, I got some new names of people okay. that I'm going to, to call. Okay. Uh, because we're really going to look about uh, because I think it's really uh, interesting for the team mobility, but also for the book we're writing about mobility, or we're going to write about mobility and the collaborative economy. Yeah. About what the role can be uh, for government. Okay. In the future uh, of the shared mobility. Okay. Tell me about that book. You are writing. We, we uh, two videos ago uh, you went to Brussels and I asked you about the, what you were writing in the park because I saw it on Twitter. How's this book going? This is about the crowdfunding book okay. and it's going really good because okay. uh, uh, it will be uh, going to the final editor in about two and a half weeks. Okay, so yeah, that's really, exciting. Uh, yes, yeah. <laughs> it's also challenging, but, yeah, but I think uh, uh, also Koons are doing a really a great job uh, okay. there. So, uh, so that's the crowdfunding book, which will be released uh, at the end of September this year. And we're also making a book, about because every three months with Crowd Expedition, we're uh, focusing on another team. Mm -hmm. And we're also going to, to, to bundle these experiences, not only the stories of the um, initiative, but also the experiences in a book. Uh, and we're also going to find 
and it's also a, a business model issue. We also got to find sponsors for the book okay. um, uh, with every nice. new team. Yeah. Okay, that's nice. And, and uh, I think a lot of people know you from your other book, uh, Brand Expedition, one of the, the number one management book in the year. When was it? 2011, I think. 10. 10. The Dutch oh, one, yes. <laughs> Time we're getting old. Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, you are getting old. The, uh, the book, this is, uh, this is going to be, uh, the concept is a bit similar, right? So at Crowd Exhibition, you wrote chapters of every visit you did to companies like Lego and you, you went all through Europe. So if you don't know what this is about, go Google uh, Crowd, no, Brand, Brand Expedition. Expedition. This is Crowd Expedition. This book is, is, is more or less the same concepts, chapters of every uh, company you went to? More or less, but I think the big difference is because the, the, the conclusion and the afterwords of Brand Expedition were quite uh, small, quite uh, yeah, really short, and uh, I think in the end, the, the, the elaboration part after you wrote the book yeah. was okay. So you did yeah. a lot of presentations, talked to a lot of people afterwards, but there was not much discussion or sharing uh, insights afterwards. Is that what you mean? No, more uh, when you look really to look to the book, uh, you get a chapter of the twenty brands, yep. and then about four pages conclusion. Uh, thank you everybody. That that's it. Yeah. Uh, so. It was more about the stories behind the brands so with the uh, Crowdic Action books. Uh, the stories uh, of the interviews with the uh, initiatives uh, are really an important part. And not yeah. only their story, but also uh, my vision about these stories. Okay. Uh, so it's going to be much more, uh, um, yeah, um, it, uh, I say it. Yeah, it's got to be different, uh, much, much sharp about uh, okay, my More vision. in depth. Yeah. Okay. And in the end, the second part of the book, we're going to look, okay, but what has to happen to make this shared mobility, in this case, a sustainable model. And uh, uh, what kind of um, uh, partners and what kind of uh, stakeholders are involved and what is their role. So it's, it's, it's going to be a much more a deeper book uh, than the, the brand acquisition book. Okay. And Will so it be thicker as well? Uh, I have no idea, but because the brand actually got lots of pictures, and we're okay. we're not going to include this this much pictures in this book, okay. uh, because also from the cost per, uh, uh, perspective, so uh, I have no idea. Okay, who's paying for it for this book? Uh, we're still f searching for that because uh, there are s several options uh, yeah. uh, by a traditional publisher we can yeah. use, and then the publisher is paying. We can do it ourselves. Okay. And then we're sell, uh, we're paying it ourselves, but then we also got all the profit. Yeah. Or maybe a model where a, a, a sponsor who wants to update their name to the book, like with Mobility A, AMWB or a Bovag, uh, like with the shared uh, um, resources, the next team, uh, like a Consumentenbond. Uh, so we're going to sort of search for companies who really want to, 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 to profile themselves as a thought leader or at least interested of challenging in where their uh, 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 business is going to. Is it one book or is it one book per... Um, uh, now we have the mobility project, three months. Next three months are about sharing... Uh, resources. Resources. Is that another book? Yeah. Okay, so every chapter has... Every three months. Every three book. months has another book. And in the end, because we're going to do uh, six or eight uh, teams, Yeah. in the end there is going to be a large book okay uh, also because the team books they will probably be uh, first in dutch and then, and then we're also going to find resources to translate it into english yeah but the final book <coughs> will be definitely in english okay cool talking think, uh, about it yeah i think we I need think to uh, yeah. round up uh, uh, talking about the book in english um, i want to do something uh, and we did discuss this. So I needed your permission, of course. <laughs> we want to give away one book for the person that asks the best question for Martijn. And I will ask that question in the next video. And uh, Martijn will uh, sign his autograph, uh, put his autograph in this book for you uh, with your name. And uh, we are going to send it to you. Martijn is going to send it for, uh, to you. Yep. Uh, so email your questions to Martijn at collaborative minus economy.com uh, or, or else tweet it to at crowd expedition okay so send your tweet with your question or remark to at crowd expedition on twitter that's more easy yeah um, and the best question will be asked in the next video and will win the english version of the brand expedition book so yes definitely not to uh, uh, 
promise something, promise that, something that doesn't that exist, doesn't exist yet. yet. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm glad that you want to round up because I want to round up as well. Uh, because before this interview, Martijn says, I have a surprise for you, but I'm only, I'm going to show it to you at the end of the video. And um, uh, so I, I, I really don't know, but yeah. show me. What, what is it? Where is it? I've got it somewhere over here. Okay, don't, don't make it I more. Uh, ah, there it is. Don't make it more. And the nice thing is, you guys are going to see it next week. Okay. So that's, so it's, it's a kind of live preview. But not for you, but only for Jelly. I think he, I hope he will understand it. <gasps> no way. Okay, that's enough. So, see you next week and then... Uh, Is it serious? It's a kind of cliffhanger, you know? So next week uh, we will show you what yeah, he is thinking about. Yeah, this is uh, quite a cliffhanger and I... Really? <laughs> Are you serious? Never, of nice. course. <laughs> cool. Yeah, so see you next week. Nice. I'm. I'm. He's uh, speechless. Ah, yeah, first yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. And and I'm going to um, because to get me speechless, I'm I'm going to um, put this in the frame. I think. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice. Cool. Bye bye. Bye bye.